if, I'm, if I go through that I can't get my hand in to drill it to drill screws it in so hell oh and welcome Ooh, I'm zoomed in there a bit much Ooh. hell oh people and welcome to another video yes this is a video to show another DIY video I seem to like those don't I but since I'm renovating this 200 year old house yes it is this house was built in 1823. In my, not my last video, my videos before, you would, you would have seen that I, um, I put in this loft hatch. But once we can store stuff that we don't need all the time, so two lofts basically, and it's a wasted space. I've done the loft hatch, which you can see the video in my channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, click that like button and, uh, I hope these videos help you because I think, don't think you always need to have a trade to do the work around your house. So, learn new skills, buy tools that, that last for multiple projects and save money. So I'm going to show you what uh, what I'm doing and what, what I've actually bought when it delivers, it's getting delivered today. So basically boarding a loft. So, the delivery has come for the, for the, it's basically insulating and boarding my loft um, floor, my new loft I should say, because we didn't have a loft, we didn't have a loft, the loft, the original loft we've got is up there. Well now this new loft, I made the hole in the bed, master bedroom I just saw, put the loft ladder in, these are the heavy, so I'm going to have to cut them up, because I've got a circular saw. Um, but what's actually come today, I've got two packs of screws, one at 100mm in depth and then I've got 50mm screws to screw the boards into the new beams basically. I got some sterling board OSB condition conditioning which basically means they're, they're damp from water resistant, basically they're moisture resistant so basically if the roof starts leaking the wood won't rot which is good. Um, I got some classic timber which is 30 meters and I got some two rolls of insulation with beams let's just screw these beams these 10 beams I've got into the original beams upstairs so there's 10 three meter beams there screws there these five um, sterling moisture resistant boards they are 2440 millilitres or 2.44 meters long by 1.22 meters wide so 1220 millimeters and I have to cut it directly down the book or down there all five which I'm gonna do in a minute and I've got these non-compostable insulation and that's the insulation so I cut it directly in the middle and that should that should do like they said so I have now cut up the wood into sideways, so I've cut them into 60, 610, so 610, I've cut them down to in the middle so I can get them through my loft hatch. I got this McAllister circular saw, that cost about 50 quid or whatever, 35, 50 quid I think it was from a screw fix, so all I use is use that, you wouldn't use that if you were working on a building site but it's it's general DIY. If you're doing some small stuff at home, you can use that. So I've done that basically. Now I need to clean that up because I don't want it going into the road and people breathing it in. So I'm going to come out here, I'm going to hoover that up now. But wear, always wear a mask because those wood shavings can get in you. You breathe them in, can cause havoc to your inside. You don't want that. So always wear a mask, whatever cutting if possible. So yeah, so let's get this stuff upstairs and then I will show you what I'm doing up in the loft. Let's go! So there's the loft hatch and thing. As you can see there isn't much room. Here is the loft. And what I intend to do is, that's going to have to be put somewhere else. It's a bit dirty. So like that. But what I'm doing is, you can see the beam here. You see a beam here, a beam there and so on. I'm effectively going to get those long three meter beams there. So we're going to put them against here, all the way to the other end, and then 
insulation in the middle on top of this because this is all right insulation this is just dirty because of the roof um, then I put another one say about here across here across here across and so forth all the way till it's down there so what I've been just be crossing over it's a long piece of wood like through there and there I'm going to run them across say I'll catch you when I've um, done the cleared it up and put the battens on hello so, okay, I don't know if you can see my. We've got a light on. We've got a light on there? No, it's not on. Good. So, uh, I've done what I've said out there. Now it's time to actually board the board it. Well, parse the board it. I need to port board this now. So, what I've done is, I've uh, taken out all the stuff like that. I've got to still tell, tell, take them through. I might leave that there just because it's not doing any harm and it's actually not going to impede on me much, I don't think. Um, I left a bit of a bit of a gap here because they didn't want to cut this off, so I put that there. Then one here, one there, one there, one there, and the end there. But it don't matter because I'm going to extend it anyway. So I've put the just put the insulation on top of the other insulation, as you can see. I screwed these in and etc. Um, I'm going to put bring some of the <coughs> some of those boards up now, uh, but that's what I've done so far. I've drilled, screwed these these boards into the other ones, so it's like seven screws in each, and uh, in all of them. And then I've, these are just perfect. I might actually only need one of the rolls because that's the, still some of the still um, the first roll. I'm gonna put board this now. Put the boards up, screw them down with my 50 mil um, screws. Uh, somehow I'm gonna figure out how to get these boards up here because they're heavy as anything. I need to get those. Uh, those gloves on so I don't get splinters uh, so that's what I've done so far that I, I did that one first and then I did the one that's um, that's there so it's in the center so 200 244 zero so 2,000 2 meters and 44 um, centimeters hits the middle of that last beam there and that's what so I can so I can add the next one onto it and it'll then I can drill to it so let's, let's do this, let's put them down, see how I get on, eh? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell, man. Well, as you can see, it was a quite a hard, fairly hard, but I figured out how to get these boards up. I've done three, and I'll show you what I mean by make sure you measure it properly. I'm on it. There we go. As you can see, put the light on so I can see. As you can see, I've done middle bits. So when you measure, make sure that wherever you're going to start drilling to, from, to whatever, um, it's 244, 2440 mil. Make sure the walls, what, they take it a bit off the wall because often walls aren't plump as builders. You know, they're not great, are they? Sometimes, especially old, the, in old buildings. So it might not be plumb, so it might be shit. But then, you go like this and you make sure all the way down to the edge is a slight lip and that is so when you put the next board on the board it can attach to there and you can drill straight into the board and into there so you've got two fixing points one for the edge of this board and one for the edge of that board then I'm putting this other board on now in now just I'm going to put this board here obviously I'm going to move the, move the gloves putting that board there because that, what the fuck am I doing? Now, I'm, I'm, confu I'm confusing myself right now. So I'm going to put that down, I'm going to put this down here. Right? Then, I'm either going to do that bit there and that bit there. I might just I might do that actually. Do that bit there and that bit there. Because... Oh shit! <sighs> that bit there is one full board which is sick and then that button and that bit there well, is half a board so I just slice it in half shove it down it'll rest on all them so I'm gonna have to batten 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 I have to finish I'm gonna batten all that first put a board put this board down batten all that what is up yes so took a while I've used one, two, three, four, five, six boards so far. 
I've got 10. I don't think I'm going to need 10. That's fine. I might board I'm going to board that and board that. So this is basically what I've done. I've boarded the seat, the, um, the loft now. Basically boarded it and you take this off so you can see me. I boarded it mostly. Insulate, I've timbered it. Insulated it. Boarded it. And just so you know, this isn't going to be a bedroom. It's just, just a storage so it doesn't have to be perfect. But you can walk on it as I'm stood on it now. And what compared to what, what I've done today, compared to what I've done, I mean, I'm doing it single handedly. You know, so I'll get back to you when I've finished it. I've used quite a few um, screws. I can't do many screws. I think I've got enough, just enough to do a few more little bits. But uh, I got a hundred, I think that worked out. I've got lots of um, screws in there, which I'm going to always use anyway. Um, so yes, um, I've basically finished it, I've tied it apart, as you can see all the tools are away, screws are all down there, so I've got to clean the carpet up because it's filthy, but basically um, I was going to go right into the eaves and just re realised that down there that where the, where the wood goes across it along there, if I, if I go through that I can't get my hand in to drill it to drill screws it in so and when the especially when the woods there, i've got about that much space for my hand i just can't do it so i decided to save fanning around and just leave it as it is because it's a decent space anyway as you can see decent square footage space up here plus you've got all these bits as well um, and you may ask why have I left this? This is part of the thing anyway. But you may ask why have I left that there and that there? This pole here. Simple. Well, that pole there is where the electrician put the electric wire going all the way up to that light there. But he's also put the light. He's took the feed off the light, the, the bedroom light, which is down there, to there. So I thought, rather than wasting a full board on a slither like that. I can give leave access for the light very simply and easily. Um, if they need to, they can they, they flex the flexible and loose wires. So if he needs to put his hand underneath it, pull it out, and he can put his hand underneath it, pull it out, and basically rectify the problem. So it's better for electricians, a bit of access for them if they need it. Um, just the walk up here this morning, as you saw it, um, it was. Uh, horrible up here, minging. Um, it's taken me a few hours only because I had to figure out how to get these boards up there on my own, cut stuff, drill things and also my impact driver. Um, it's an old one as I said, um, it has two batteries. When you're constantly impact driving, driving stuff in, the batteries go. Hope you like this uh, this video, I hope it's helpful uh, the fact, and show you that me as a DIY and I've learned so I've got the tools, a few tools and basic tools that I can do what I need to do. Hope it's helped you, hope you enjoyed this. I try to do these when I'm doing tasks and DIY things at, ho at home in my house. Yeah, I feel it's gonna help me. I like to learn how to do it. And then if I can teach you guys who are either the similar to me um, DIY skills are not quite as DIY as me. If I can help you, I want to. Um, that's why I hope that you do subscribe, click, click the like button, comment down below. And, uh, and yeah, what can I say? Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all soon for hopefully another fun, helpful video. And thanks again for watching. Bye bye.